stop in the name of love before you murder me. Welcome to episode 7 of my retarded internet dating vlog. In today's episode, I talk about how I outwitted a fellow internet predator by foiling his cunning plan to rape slash murder me. Um, hello boyfriends, and by boyfriend I am talking to you, computer. Um, it's good to be alive today. Um, so before I talk about the murder, I just want to say, um, this thing that's been on my mind. Recently my friend told me that I have fuck me eyes. Um, and he said that, like, no matter what I'm doing, my eyes are saying, fuck me. So I was like, oh, money. That's awesome. Like, I thought I was really nervous and awkward, but apparently I'm just super seductive. Um, so I was also seeing this guy, by seeing I mean, like, being yelled at constantly by, um, sort of very recently. And, um, so I, I, when my friend told me this, I said to him, I was like, hey, do you think I have fuck me eyes? And he was like... No, no, you don't have fuck me eyes. You have murder me eyes. You, your eyes are like super crazy and creepy and disturbing. They scare the shit out of me. So I was so, so like upset about that and I had totally low self-esteem again. And I went back to my friend and I was like, this dude I'm dating or seeing who's yelling at me thinks I have murder me eyes. What the fuck is he talking about? And, um, and my friend's like, no, he's right. You do have murder me eyes, but you have fuck me, and then murder me eyes. Like, you say fuck me so the guy lets his guard down, and then you stab him to death. So anyway, um, it's just been really bothering me because I feel like I can't look at anybody because they're going to think I'm going to fuck them, and then they're going to think I want to kill them. So maybe that's why I don't have a human boyfriend. What thank you, computer? Anyway, um, so back to the murderer. Um, yesterday I got this very strange email um, from this guy named, oh, also this disguise is in case the murderer ever sees this. I don't want him to come know what I look like and try, come try to kill me. So anyway, so I got this email and from this guy named the equivalent of gun on my head. And um, the email just said, hi. And this was his picture. Um, if you can't read that backwards, it says, ask me for my photo. And he didn't have anything on his profile. Like, his profile was basically just all no answers and this one tiny short paragraph. And this is what the paragraph said. About my life and what I'm looking for. If it was up to men, we would still be living in caves and hunting ice animals. Women said, I'm tired of eating bears. I'm tired of living in a cave. I'm tired of walking 10 miles for water. She said, babe, I don't want to live in a house. I, I want to live in a house. I want to eat pasta and drink wine. I want to drive a four-door car. Note. This profile introduction was updated on Slash.com mobile. So it's literally just that tiny little paragraph and nothing else. His name is Gun on Head, and he just wrote an email to me that said, Hi. So I wrote back to him, and I said, um, Send me your picture. Is this a joke? Because I thought maybe it was a joke. Like, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So he writes back, Text me. Them, them, three. No, 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 no. So I'm like, oh god, that's really weird. Like, why would I just fucking text him? Like, add blue. That's fucking creepy. So I still read him this email. Hey, bomb on or what? Well, I can't say his name. Sorry. Hey, gun, uh, on the head. Um, I'm a little sleepy tonight, so I'll text you sometime tomorrow. But before I do, would you mind answering a few questions real quick? Thanks. Do you think pirates are cool or overrated? What jewelry are you wearing? Are you smiling? 
Do you own a hacksaw? Craziest place you've ever had sex. Can you blow yourself? What's your favorite TV show? Do you have rigidity, tremor, jerking arm movements, or involuntary movements of the limbs? Do you like to hang out in the bushes next to bike paths? Do you fear the presence of human body secretions such as saliva, blood, semen, sweat, tears, vomit, or mucus, or excretions such as urine or feces? Are you devoid of empathy? Do you prey on young handicapped women? Describe your first experience with cannibalism. How many people have you raped in total? Young boys and dead prostitutes included. Do you kill homeless people and others in their sleep? Why don't you post your picture on your profile? Why are you on Slash.com mobile as opposed to Slash.com regular? Is it because you're cheap, married, or is it because you like to kill people so darn much? Awesome. Talk soon. XOX moi. So this morning, I had an email from him and he just said, are you serious? And so I was like, oh God, I was told bitch. Like he's just a normal guy. And I like just said that bitchy thing, like just for whatever. So I was like, okay. No, I'm just teasing. Sometimes I get a little paranoid about this whole internet dating thing. Maybe I've seen a few many, a few too many episodes of Dexter. Can you go online to use your account or can you only respond with your cell phone? I can only respond with my cell phone. So, what's the craziest place you've ever had sex? So at this point I'm like, uh-oh, like he is a little fucking creepy. So I was like, I better test the waters again. So I wrote, on a bed of nails in San Francisco underground, in a San Francisco underground torture club. Do you frequent places like that? You must be good in bed. How do you think I got the nickname? Suck a dick, suck a dick, rig a dick, rig a ding dong, Dana. Yes, that would be an emphatic yes. I'm not just good in bed, I'm great. P.S. Have you ever given somebody an acid bath? I never took an acid bath yet. What three things are you best at in the bedroom? One, tying up with ropes. Two, fucking. Three, ice picking. How about you? Doggy style, breast stimulation, and deep G-spot strokes. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about the barf in my mouth. What area of Chicago were you from? At this point, I was like, okay. <laughs> like, Nub said, like, he's definitely, if not a murderer, a rapist. So, crime solved. Thank you, deputy me. <laughs> um, okay, so the quote of the day is, Yet she must die, else she'll betray more men. Put out the light, and then... Put out the light. And that's Othello, Act 5, Scene 2. And this episode was brought to you by beets, my favorite vegetable to put on salad. Wow.